What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're getting off meta with it. We are rocking out with Bayleaf for ranked regulation G. Now, if you guys don't know, Bayleaf is a second evolution to Trickerita and it is a pre-evolution to Magnanium, meaning it is not a full evolved Pokemon. Meaning we can use Evo Light on this thing. So this Bayleaf is going to be super bulky with the Evo Light and Leaf Guard as its ability. It's got Body Slam, Leech Seed for HP recovery, helping hand and protect. Now, the main purpose for Bay Leaf on this team is to actually help Pokemon do more damage with Helping Hand. You can also stall out with Leech Seed and do a little bit of damage and get some Paralyzes with Body Slam. So, should be a fun one. Like I said, we're having fun today using Off Meta Bay Leaf. But other Pokemon on today's team features a big time Sun Squad. You got Fluttermane, you got Venusaur, you got Groudon, Rage Bolt, and Torkoal. So, all five of those Pokemon really thrive out in the sun. Fluttermane and Rage Bolt both have Protosynthesis and can do big special attacking damage. Venusaur will double its speed in the sun and Torkoal obviously just does massive amounts of damage. But our restricted Pokemon is obviously going to be that Groudon with Drought and a Clear Amulet, High Horsepower, Fire Punch, Sword Dance, and Protect. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Bayleaf on the rank ladder. I know I might get some hate for this, but I'm not gonna lie, Bayleaf might be the coolest looking pre-evolution ever in Pokemon, or I should say middle evolution in Pokemon. I think it's designed is amazing and this Pokemon looks so dope. But we're going up against a Kyogre team here in match number one. We are going to have a Weather War here. They got Archiludon, Moltres, Tornadus, Farigarath, and then last but not least, they do have Mamoswine. So they could pop Trick Room if they really want to. I don't think they're going to want to, but I honestly might just leave Bayleaf here. Bayleaf might be a nice little lead. Set up some Leech Seeds, kind of get after it that way. I love a little Bayleaf action. Z Fence is not bad. 123 and 120 plus the Evo Light boost. I like that. If I could set up some lead seeds, I really think we can get thriving with this Pokemon. So I'm going to go Bayleaf for the lead. Bayleaf for the lead. We love it. So I'm going to do that. Um, I could go Choice Spec Fluttermane. This Pokemon is rather fast. And it will get a speed boost with Protosynthesis. And I mean, at this point, we can go into that and maybe just hard swap in the ground on if we need some sort of weather control. So that is something I like. I'm going to go into both of them. I'm going to go ground on in the back end. And then last but not least, Raging Bolt, Venusaur. I think both of them are pretty good, but Raging Bolt might get a little bit more value here, considering Thunderclap's going to be super effective onto three different Pokemon. Or I should say Electric Moon as well. Actually, four. No, three. I lied. Yeah, three. All right, cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So, we'll see how this one plays out here. Leading Bayleaf should be fun. I mean, <laughs> again, I would love to just set up Leech Seeds. Bayleaf can be a little bit of a problem for po for people, especially with Leech Seeds set up. Body Slam's going through. Paralyze is getting off. I like it, but they're going to end up leading these two Pokemon. So Archiludon and Tornadus. So, I mean, they could set up a Rain Dance. I am going to go for a Leech Seed here right into the slot. And to be honest, I might just hard swap into Groudon here. Just because, do we think Electro Shot is flying here? It could be Flash Cannon. It could be Electro Shot. But, I mean, if they're going to set up Rain Dance, oh, that could be tough. I just want to go into Raging Bolt here. Might be my best interest just to go in the Raging Bolt. Because then I can just start snarling. Yeah, I'm down to go in the Raging Bolt. I'm cool with the Bolt action. I could stay in here and just, you know, pop Shadow Balls and stuff like that. But again, Flash Cannon, I I'm just not dealing with it. So I'm going to go into my whole best Pokemon. I'm going to look to set up some uh, new seeds with Bayleaf. Yo, look at Bayleaf. Yo, this thing's adorable. I love Bayleaf. I love Bayleaf. I really do. It ends up just dropping a Bleak when Storm. Bayleaf is going to take some damage. I was surprised at that. Are you going for a Flash Cannon here as well? No speed drops, please. There's one speed drop. We don't like that. Flash Cannon's going to fly here. So that's fine. I mean, we are bested. We're going to soak that no problem. Um, Bayleaf is going to land a beautiful, lovely Leech Seed. And from here, what is our play? What is Bayleaf's play? Because he's got the Leech Seed up. We're going to take a little bit of HP. Bleak when Storm is looking a little scary. I could Terrasilize Bayleaf. I could do that, but I think I'm just going to protect it this turn. Get back some HP and maybe just go for a Thunderbolt into this thing. Just in case it wants to set up a Tailwind this turn. I think I'm cool with just going for a Thunderbolt rather than a Thunderclap. So, yeah, that's going to be the play. So, we'll go for Thunderbolt over Thunderclap. We'll look to get some Leech Seed HP back here. Obviously, I could have went for a Thunderclap and maybe just attack. But I think protecting Bayleaf this turn and just having Leech Seed kind of do its thing for a little bit is fine. So Bayleaf is here. I do got help in hand if I really want to do some damage, but I'm fine right now. Playing this one slow. Playing this one slow. 
I mean, he could go for another Bleak Windstorm. We are slower right now. I mean, Bleak Windstorm speed drops kind of annoying. Let's see what they end up doing here. Let's so protect the Bayleaf. We will get back some HP with him. Bayleaf soaked that Bleak Windstorm rather well. Out comes the Tailwind. Read that easily. That's why we didn't go for Thunderclap. And you are going to go for a Snarl here, which is... Eh, it's okay. It's okay. We might want to end up hard swapping Raging Bolt after this. Let's see how much damage this will do. Let's see how much damage this does. Almost enough. No paralyzed. We do get some leechy HP back, which is gorgeous. Um, do I end up going for the thunderclap? Like, go for the thunderclap here. This has a chance of paralyzing, so I might honestly just go here. Try to paralyze you. I mean, you can have a stamina boost. Our team's mainly special attacking. And do I hard swap here? No, I think I just go for a thunderclap. I think I just go for a thunderclap, because if you attack, I'd rather just get rid of you. He's a withdrawal, and I knew it. I knew it. He going into it. I was going to throw a leech sheet in that slot, too. He going into it is the real question. Can you go into Mammoth Swan? Okay, so that was just a solid swap all around. Might want to go into a fire terror after this, so he might just dump on a Rage Bolt with, like, a Draco Meteor. He might just dump on us with a Draco Meteor. Grass Terror's going to pop out here. Now, does that get rid of leech seed? That's the real question. Does that get rid of Leech Seed? That could be tough news for us. So we pretty much know their team, right? We pretty much know their team. Snarl's gonna fly here. That's fine. I'm curious if that gets rid of Leech Seed. I'm very curious. I hope not. I guess we'll see. Can I get a Paralyze here? We do get a Paralyze. Beautiful. So Bayleaf, just playing the thing slow. Show me we still have Leech Seed on that. Show me we still have Leech Seed on that. We do. Beautiful. Awesome. So it doesn't get rid of the Leech Seed. The Leech Seed just slowly doing his thing. Getting back HP. Alright. So from here, obviously, we just want to probably protect the, the Bay Leaf here. You could go for an Ice move, and I kind of just want to go into Flaming in here. I mean, what are you going to do here? You're going to go for a Snarl, which is... Oh, man. Snarl is looking annoying. Snarl is looking mad annoying. Uh, do I just go into Ground on here? And maybe just save our Terra? Because I feel like you have to go for an Ice move Crash into Bay Leaf here. You could throw it into Rage Bolt. That could be a little bit of a problem. That's what I'm scared of. If you go into Rage of Bolt with that move, we might just want to stay on the field with Rage and Bolt here. We might just want to stay on the field here with Rage and Bolt. Yeah, I'm just going to deal some damage here with Draco Meteor. I'll protect Bayleaf. Let's see what they want to do here. Bayleaf gets to protect, so slowly but surely we're just dealing damage here. EQ is going to fly. All right. I mean, yeah, we probably should have swapped the ground on there, but can you soak this? You do soak this, that's good. Can you soak whatever else they're offering so I can get off a Draco Meteor? That would be nice. That would be beautiful. Body Press gonna fly here, and we're gonna block that. Cool. So I'm gonna be able to get off a Draco Meteor before my Raging Bolt leaves, but of course, I'm gonna miss my Draco Meteor. Come on, man! All I want to do is land my Draco Meteor. So Bayleaf just doing slow damage here. Slow damage. Do we think he goes for another EQ? That is a possibility. Could go for an Ice move finally. Um. I am going to do this, and if I can, I get. I, I would rather just sacrifice this Rage Bolt. Let's be honest here. I'd rather just sacrifice this Rage Bolt. You could potentially go for Iso Crash. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll stick with Leech Seed in this slot, and we'll just go for Jerk Meteor into this slot. Alright. So there, there's the Iso Crash. Can you soak this, please, Bayleaf? You're so bulky. You are so bulky, it's awesome. You are so bulky, it's beautiful. Now we gotta land this lead seed. Now we have to land this lead seed. We do land the lead seed. Okay, so we know their whole team. We know their whole team. It's Archaludon, Mamoswine, Tornadus, Kyogre, right? It's gotta be Kyogre. The last Pokemon has got to be Kyogre. But we are just getting back HP, which is awesome. They can potentially just read a protect from me here. Um, Fluttermane's not a bad play for me. Fluttermane is not a bad play. Maybe a Fairy Terra Fluttermane could be the play here. Because if I can Fairy Terra and just rip, maybe protect, get back double Leech Seed. And just save the Groudon. Because we obviously could go into Groudon. We could obviously go into Groudon. But I think just going into Fluttermane here, outspeeding these guys is our play. I think that's definitely our play. And just protect the Bay Leaf, get back HP. Um, if they're going to swap anybody... I feel like I feel like it's gonna be Mammoth Swine. I think they leave Archer Ludon on the field here. 
And I think we should just do this. Actually, might as well just go for helping hand here, correct? Or do I just protect? I think protecting Bay Leafs is a smart play. You know, no, we're going helping hand, terror, dazzling gleam. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So we're sitting here now. I can reset our choice scarf or choice spec if we want to next turn if I want to swap the ground on. But so far, so good with the Bay Leaf. So far, so good. We're looking for a win with this guy. We're looking for a win with Bayleaf. So Helping Hand comes out here. Bayleaf outbulking a lot of shots so far. Helping Hand flies. He's just going to protect Mamoswine. Which is fine. That just gives Bayleaf more HP. There's that. Dazzling Gleam should get rid of... He should get rid of you, and then you're probably just going to set up a Tailwind next turn, correct? They're definitely just going to set up a Tailwind next turn. So yeah, they're going to set up Tailwind, and they're going to look to finish this game off with Kyogre, I think. I think, but what we have to do is force Kyogre onto the field so we can have some sort of weather control, right? So I get back some HP, which is awesome. Bayleaf just chilling on the field. <laughs> Yo, I love Bayleaf. We're actually using it really well. And they're going to send out Tornadoes and set up a Tailwind. It's absolute must. No, they go straight into Kyogre. So this could be a forced swap for us. We could potentially just force a swap here. I think we have to. I think we just go in the ground on here. We stick with Dazzle Gleam. I would love to use the Helping Hand, but actually right now we do have speed. Unless you're choice. Unless you're choice. Swap it into ground on just to play. Let's be honest. Swap it into ground on just to play. We get the Protosynthesis boost. We get a lot of going here. I'm really surprised they didn't swap it to Tornadus first just to set up the Tailwind. I think that would have been a bit of a smarter play. So now we finally swap Bayleaf. We finally swap Bayleaf. And I believe... Leech Seed should stay onto Mamoswine, right? I believe it should. And Leech Seed now goes towards Groudon's HP, right? I think so. I think so. But still, we get that Protosynthesis boost. Our speed tightens up. That thing's choice. We're out speeding it. We got Stab boost. We got Terra boost. Choice spec. Gonna get rid of the Mamoswine and do some nice damage onto Kyogre here. That's really good for us. Ice Beam's gonna fly here. Not a bad call. Do some big time damage to us. And... Oh, man. What's my play here? I mean, they're forced to either go into Rain Dance or Tailwind here, right? Do I just swap Kyogre or do I just... Leave it on the field? Because if they go for Tailwind, they can outspeed and KO Groudon. Which, I mean, that's fine. If they go for Rain Dance, that's looking a bit scarier because then... I think we just protect here. Do we really need a Protosynthesis boost? I think we just protect them. We just go into a Dazzling Gleam. I I wonder what their Tornadus is doing. He's going to protect. That's more than fine by me. I think you're going for Ice Beam here. I think you're sticking with Ice Beam into the ground on slot, which would be awesome. The Dazzling Gleam going to fire. It's not going to be able to pick up the KO onto Kyogre, but it should bring it pretty close. It should bring it pretty close. Real close. And he's going to go for Ice Beam into this slot. Okay. Don't freeze me. Now, from here, I think we just attack, right? I think we just attack. I think we just attack. I don't think there's a, there's a need for us to swap. I don't think there's a need for us to swap. And they just cancel battle. So, Bayleaf prevailing in match number one. We start things off hot and go 1-0. Can you guys believe it? Bayleaf picking up a W in match number one. So excited that we actually done that today. My plan in today's video was to at least hopefully pick up one win using Bayleaf to its fullest potential. And we overachieved that. Bayleaf was out there for pretty much the whole time. Used all of its moves. Lead sheet up. Body slam for paralysis. Helping hand to Fluttermane. And obviously protected to actually uh, get some more lead sheet turns out there. But Bayleaf was amazing. It didn't even die. It didn't even die, but we're going up against an Alolan Sandslash team. Love that Pokemon so much. With Alolan Ninetales, along with Ogre Pond, Zamazenta, Hisuian Arcanine, which is probably Rocket E speed because it's next to Shen Pao as their final Pokemon. Now, this one is going to be another Weather War. They don't have Trick Room, so I don't really want to bring Turkle. I obviously want to bring Groudon, but I mean, for our lead, we could just go into, like, Raging Bolt, Fluttermane. That's not bad. Or I could maybe just go Torkoal for the lead. Torkoal would be slower and get off weather second. 
Torkoal is not a bad lead. In all honesty, Torkoal is not a bad lead. Flamethrower can do some damage, and Yon's not bad. You know, let's go Torkoal here. Let's bring double weather. We'll go Torkoal. We will go Fluttermane here. I think that's fine by me. And then we'll bring Groudon, and last but not least, Venusaur. A lot of Ice-type Pokemon, which is my problem. What's your Terra-type Venusaur? Fire? Water. You know what? We'll bring Venusaur. We will bring Venusaur. I'll take it. If I can win the Weather War, have Venusaur with Water Tire, that can work perfect. But we'll see. Again, they have a lot of Ice-type Pokemon. We're looking to go 2-0 here. We did not bring the Bay Leafs. It just didn't seem like a time to bring the Bay Leaf. Last match was perfect. We got it out there. We got Leech Seed. And Leech Seed's so nice. I love when I land Leech Seeds, especially with how bulky Bay Leaf is with that Evo Light. It's able to soak Icicle Crashes, get its Leech Seed uh, recovery back, protect, and almost be back up to full HP. That was amazing. We love this guy. But they're going to end up going Shen Pao alongside with Zamazenta. Now, Zamazenta, a little scary here just because of body press. Um, I like our Fluttermane here, though. I think Fluttermane works well. And I think from here, do we yawn or do we go into, like, Flamethrower into the Zamazenta slot? I kind of want to yawn this thing. Could just Flamethrower it. I'm going to go for Flamethrower. He might go for a wide guard. Let's be honest. I think he's going to go for a wide guard. I'm just going to double down in Zamazenta. I'm going to look to just try to get rid of it. I think you maybe just go for a wide guard here. We'll see a Terra pop out here. Please be Shen Pao. Please be Shen Pao. It's going to be Zamazenta. No, it's going to be Shen Pao. Cool. So he's going to go into the Stellar Terra type. Now, this is looking a little scary. This is looking scary. Can you go for a wide guard, please, though? Yo, such a rough first turn. That's a rough first turn. That's a rough first turn. Sucker Punch might just dump on me, too. Yep. Thanks for playing, Jeans. That's a rough first. That's a real rough first turn. That's a rough first turn. Ouch, man. Definition of a rough turn. So this thing is orbed. He is orbed. Um, I could bring out Venusaur here. Venusaur. All right, so we get out Venusaur. Um, we got Chlorophyll cooking. Not bad. Definitely still want to rip like a flamethrower in this slot. They go for Weather Ball into you, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, they could change. They go for Ice Shard here. How much damage is Ice Shard really doing? If this carries me, I might cry. Oh! This Stellar Terror Shen Pao is just destroying me. Any shot I win this match. Oh my lord, I don't think so. I had a berry. This Stellar Terror Shen Pao is just massacring me. Put me through a blender. Flamethrower, can you KO here? Big time damage on Zamazenta. You don't. You simply do not. I wish I had Prince Place Blades here. Alright. Um. What do I do from here? They probably just change weather if they have a weather Pokemon. This is terrifying. They're going to the water tower here? Hmm. Do I really want a water terror? Yeah, we're gonna go into water terror. Let's we'll go into fire punch. And I know I said I want to water terror Venusaur, but I wasn't expecting ice shard. I thought it was gonna be icicle crash, so I was just like, okay, we can outspeed it, dump on it with weather ball, get rid of it, and kind of go from there. And he just ice shard at one shot at me. Not cool at all. Should have probably water terror, but. We're in a water tower here. Look for a little bounce back here. He's gonna go for a throw chop. We're gonna survive that, which is lovely. And you're giving me a shot because I soaked this body press. Oh, wow. That's some damage. Fire Punch gonna pick up the KO. And on top of that, Torko's gonna pick up the KO on the Zamazenta. So this Shen Pao is just massacring me. It's just massacring me. Plus that protect on Zamas at the turn one was massive. It was really big. And then he stellar tired, sucker punch, one shot KO. Ice shard, one shot KO. Man. That was rough. That was rough. But hey, do we have a shot here? Let's see who their final two Pokemon are. Gonna be Sween Arcanine. Okay, so he can, I mean, that's looking rough because he could just extreme speed me. And Ogre Pond. He's got grass moves. And I doubt I outspeed it. 
I mean, Earth Power should be able to one-shot you, but again, you're probably just e-speeding me. And I mean, Fire Punch, it's just not looking good for us. It's just not looking good. We have to attack here, though. I guess I'll go for I guess I'll double down into Arcanine here. I guess I'll double down. Let's see what they end up doing. Hopefully a spiky shield can pop out here. That would be awesome. But I think we lose this one regardless. Yeah. That's what I thought they were gonna go for. E speed, horn leech. It's a simple smart play. That's gonna be game. So Seller Tiger type Shen Pao just ripping up to up into us. He goes for Ivy Cudgel. Can we soak an Ivy Cudgel? No, we don't even soak an Ivy Cudgel. Surprise you went for Ivy Cudgel over Horn Leech. But hey, GG to our opponent. That's gonna be a one-on-one -one record so far. Let's go hop to our third and final match. Look to try to use Bayleaf a little bit more. We're moving on to our final match, and this one's going to be tough. Shen Pao gave us the works in match number three, but I'm already happy with today's video, considering we showcased Bayleaf really well already. But I want to use it again. We're going up against a decent team for it. I mean, they have um, Kyogre alongside with Rillaboom and Tornadus and Frigraph. So I might want to lead Bayleaf here again, try to get after it, and drop a little bit of Leech Seed action, right? I think that's my play. I could lead it with Rage Bolt. I do like that lead. And I think I am going to do that with Groudon on the back end. So I'm going to do that. Um, we could bring Venusaur here if you want to. Uh, Fluttermane's not bad. I think it's between Fluttermane or Venusaur. Um, I doubt they pop Trick Room. Trick Room would be weird here with Free Grab. And if they do, I mean, that just gives us turns to set up Lead Seeds. Um, ba -ba -ba -bam. What do I want? Do I want Fluttermane? Do I want Venusaur? Fluttermane, Venusaur. Fluttermane, Venusaur. Fluttermane, Venusaur. Um... I think I want Fluttermane just for that speed aspect. It's so fast. And if they win the Weather War, Fluttermane could still be very viable here. It really can be. So I am just going to go Fluttermane here. Lovely little Fluttermane. So that's going to be the squad here. Bayleaf looking for another victory here. We're trying it. We're trying it. Even though, dude, that Shen Pao was ridiculous in that last match. I was sitting there. I was just like, I'm just going to take it out with Weather Ball. It's probably going to go for Iso Crash. Nah, it had Ice Shard. First turn priority sent me to another dimension. But again. We'll take that one on chin. Bayleaf already grabbed herself some wins, so I'm happy. <laughs> but looking to go 2-0 with Bayleaf. That'd be awesome. They end up going into these two. These two are, eh. These two are kind of scary. I, mean, I might just want to protect Bayleaf here. I might just want to protect Bayleaf here. Yeah, we're definitely going to protect Bayleaf here. And I might just Terrasalize. And go for Snarl. I like the Fairy Terra. Um, Fairy Terra Snarl is not bad. I mean, a Poison Shot looking a little scary. But at that point, maybe I could Thunderclap. Um, but this kind of guarantees us getting off the Snarl. Because I, I believe you're going for a ground move into me. Maybe a Sludge... Do, do we think they're going for Sludge Bomb? No, it is, we're, we're just going to do this. We're fine with this. I love Bailey's little cry. Meep! <laughs> it sounds like it's just meeping. Meep! <laughs> I love it. I, I got to get a big time Playleaf plush. Bailey plushie. That'd be awesome. But they end up hard swapping Bailey's into Kyogre, which is fine because I'm snarling that. We're going into the Fairy Terra. So now we can hard swap Bayleaf if we wanted to into Groudon. That's an option. That is an option. But I like the Snarl coming out here up against two special attackers. That's not bad. The Fairy Terra flies here. If I had to guess, you're probably going for Earth Power into this slot. I protected just in case. Obviously, it was for Bleak and Storm and Sludge Bomb purposes. He's gonna go for a Sand Seer Storm. Eh, which is fine. That's fine. Bayleaf's chilling with that. Bayleaf don't mind. Bayleaf don't mind. So they do some nice damage onto Rage Bolt. Snarl's gonna fly. We love a good old Snarl. Good old Snarl. So Snarl's there. Um, do I Snarl again is the real question. I think I Leech Seed you up. Do I just dump on you? I could just dump on you. I mean, you're already minus one. I think I'm just gonna dump on you. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this thing. So he ends up withdrawing Kai, going back into Tornadus. Probably, most likely. Yep. Tornadus gonna come back out here. No big deal. Plus, I'm just gonna fly here, and we survived that. Thank you, Snarl. Drake is gonna land. That should KO you, correct? It does. Awesome. I'll take that special attack drop. I will swap my region bolt, depending on who they go into. Depending on who they go into. Leech Seed is going to fly. It is going to get avoided by him. Alright, cool. Just what I wanted. A nice little dodge of Leech Seed. Alright. So then I'm going into Ferrigraph here. I think now is a good time for us to maybe go... Do I go for Snarl again? I doubt you're going for Bleak Windstorm. Storm. I think we just go for Leech Seed and we go for Thunderclap. 
Go for Bleak with Storm, that's fine. I think we're just staying here with you. And now you, and you do go for Tailwind. That's a little odd. Maybe I should have just swapped the Raging Bolt. I should have just swapped the Raging Bolt. Thunderclap is going to miss. And actually, I couldn't even use that. That was kind of dumb of me to actually do anyway. Because Armor Tail. So, yeah, that was stupid. That was real stupid of me to do. Okay. So now we're here. We might want to... I think we want to hard swap a Raging Bolt. We do end up landing a Leech Seed. You could swap it to Kai over. Could swap it to Kyogre here. That that is an option. Just for one, get rid of the leech seed. But I don't know if you swap Frigraph after being plus one with him. I'm just gonna protect Bayleaf. Um, should I try to go for Snarl? You're probably going for Hyper Voice for the KO. I think we're just going to Flutterman here. I think we saved Rage Bowl. Alright, so Bayleaf has a lead seat on the field, which is awesome. We love Bayleaf, yo. Bayleaf's been actually low-key really good. I've seen this team, and I didn't really know how Bayleaf would perform. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it so far. Bayleaf's going to protect you. He's going to go for a taunt, which we protected. We love that. Maybe we go for a body slam next turn, start going for paralyzes. And are you going for hyper voice? You are going for hyper voice. Great swap for us. That's a real good turn for us. All right. So it looks like he wants to try to taunt us, right? It looks like he wants to try to taunt us. We are getting back some lead seed HP, which is huge. Um, we still have Terra, don't we? No, I sent it on Rage Bolt. So we don't have Terra. I think now we just go for Body Slams. And we look to just like paralyze him around. I think I'd rather try to paralyze you. And if I can, just go for Dazzle Gleam, right? Choicing in Dazzle Gleam is definitely the best option. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully you go for a taunt on the me again. So we're body slamming. Now he's gonna go for a bleak storm. Alright, Bayleaf soaks no problem. That's no problem for Bayleaf. That's no problem for Bayleaf. Dazzling Beam flies here, doing some nice damage. Shadow Ball is gonna connect. You really have Shadow Ball. And it's gonna pick up KO on the Flutter Main. Oh no, it doesn't! No, it doesn't! My special defense does drop, which kinda hurts the soul. But body slam is gonna fly here. Can I get a para? Can I get a para? No para. Rain's gonna stop. So rain's gone. We get back some Leech Seed. Um, chances are you just Bleak Wind Storm here, right? Chances are you just Bleak Wind Storm. I'm going to go for the Leech Seed in the slot. And I'm sticking with Dazzle Gleam. Do I swap into Kyogre now? Or not Kyogre, Groudon? Because they have Kyogre in the back, and Kyogre can really just win this game. Oh, I still have Raging Bolt. I still have Raging Bolt, so. I still have Raging Bolt, so we might just want to. Yeah, okay, I forgot we had Raging Bolt. I'm just going to stick with Dazzle Gleam then. Ends up withdrawing for a graph. For Riggies gets the withdrawal here. You going for Bleak Windstorm? Can he dodge a Fluttermane? This could be a big dodge for us. This could be a big dodge for us. This could be a great dodge for us. He's going to get the rain back on the field. Bleak Wind Storm's going to double connect. Bayleaf taking some damage. I don't get that Leech Seed HP recovery anymore, which kind of stinks. We don't like that. And Leech Seed is going to connect over here. So I get that HP recovery, which is beautiful. All right. So now my thing here is... My thing here is Tailwind ends... And I could bring out Kyogre, which I think Kai, or I could bring out Rage Bolt and just pose that threat of Thunderclap. Huh. I think we just bring out you. And force him to swap. Yeah, I'm gonna bring out I'm gonna bring out Groudon and force force Kyogre to swap. Oh, you have Rain Dance. You have Rain Dance. Oh man. I should have brought Rage Bolt out here. You have Rain Dance, that's scary. That might that might be a tough tough customer for us. That's real tough. That's real tough if you do have rain dance, you probably have rain dance. I should have brought out the other Pokemon. I'm gonna go leech seed here. You definitely have rain dance. I gotta go high horsepower here. You definitely have rain dance. It's a bad call for us. It's a terrible call for us. We just lost the game. I should have brought Rage Bolt. I should have brought Rage Bolt because now this is just a big time water terror for him. Grass terror, that's fine. I mean, that's even better, to be honest. 
and it's gonna be a rain dance into a water spout or it should pull some loose ski. Oh man. Yep, 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 yep. I should have thought that went through a little bit more, but I still like that we showcased Bayleaf really well today. I should have just went into straight, yeah. I should have went into uh, Rage of Bolt there. Bayleaf does soak. But I should have just went into Rage of Bolt there and forced him to swap into Frigga Ramp, because at that point I had Thunderclap wrapped up. But I mean, he had Grass Terror, which honestly was perfect for any of my Pokemon. It honestly was. A good place on their end. We almost pull off another win with Bailey. I thought we were going to. I love how he played it today. Now I got Raging Bolt and Bailey real low on HP. Um, any shot we win this match? I think the only shot we win this match would be like. I don't even know. We don't even outspeed him. Never mind. We're low on speed. We are so low on speed. We are so low on speed. I don't even know how we can win this match. Helping hand. Drake a meteor. You swap into Frigraph or something. Make a mistake. Nah. He plays this one smart. He shouldn't drop another water spout. Good plays on their end. Tail Tailwind water spout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good plays on their end. Again, a perfect terror type on the Kyogre as well. So I feel like even if we would have brought out Rage Bolt instead of Groudon, I feel as... Um, I feel as this Kyogre Terror type would have just won the game regardless. But they set up a Tailwind. Dragon Meteor is actually probably going to KO the Kyogre. It does not, even with Helping Hand. And yeah, we were losing this one regardless, even if we do pick up the KO there. So I'm just going to run this one. GG's to our opponent. We end up going 1-2 for today's video, but honestly, showcasing Bayleaf and this team really well. I'm not going to lie. Using Bayleaf today was one of the most fun I had on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked ladder in a while. Bayleaf was just so much fun and was really glad that we were able to pull off at least one win. We actually almost got two wins, but hey, one win is plenty enough using Bayleaf on this ladder. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.